I'm like running around the office right now and like other places in my house trying to gather up all of the materials that we're going to need for this next project. But I wanted to say that I'm going to show you a list of materials that I'm going to start off with. But you may see me grab other materials or tools throughout the process of making this project. So I just wanted to let you know that if I miss something, you can always find a full product list and tool list um, with probably some links on where you can purchase these things or similar items on my website at lizettedesigns.com. So I'm going to gather up the rest of these materials and get myself all set up and we will get started on this project. Okay guys, so these are the tools and materials that I am starting out with. I thought I'd give you a quick overview and then like I said, the um, final product list that I use is going to be posted on my website, Lizette Designs. So I've got some scissors and some E6000 glue, an X-Acto knife, some tape. This is the tape from um, the Smashbook line um, that you can get at Michael's, but I like it because it has the sayings on it. And then I've got a few embellishments like this little butterfly and some color tacks, some stars and some bells. And then these are the drill bits. We're either going to use the one and a half or the one inch. I haven't decided yet. And I've got some foam sponge brush, cheapy foam things. And then I've got some Disney chipboard because that is the theme of this project. Some original tacky glue. I haven't decided if I'm going to use this in this project yet, but this is the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. You're going to need, depending on what your theme is, my theme being Disney World, some sort of paper with graphics on it that's theme based. Um, this I actually got, I don't know if you could see it, Disney Vacation Club. My husband and I were interested in looking into their Disney Vacation Club timeshare program, whatever you want to call it. and. Um, because we were interested in it, they sent us one of these, which um, I had no use for, so I'm just going to chop it up and put it in our project. And then I've got some chip box pieces of Alphabet. This is an adhesive back glitter paper set. I've got some decorative feathers or leaves um, from Michaels. I got this around Christmas time, but you may still be able to find them in their dollar section and then I haven't picked out the decorative paper I'm going to use but I've got two of my favorite packs here that I will choose from I've got a mat so that I can cut and that is about it oh and I also pulled down this box of some of my smaller paper just in case I want to pull from that water because you gotta stay hydrated during your project and my cell phone so I could be interrupted while I'm creating. Oh, and the very most important one, your shadow box. Can't do this project without your shadow box. I was lucky enough to find this shadow box at um, Marshall's for $12.99, I believe, which is a great deal because these bad boys are expensive. You can always find them at Michael's or um, oh, what's the framing store? I can't think of it. I'll put it in uh, the video. Uh, but you can find them, you know, most places, but it was a real bargain to find it at Marshall's, so I picked it up. And you're going to see my reflection, but you could see here that it came with some pins, but those are just plain white pins, so I'm going to use some of these decorative head pins here. So this is what I think I'm going to start with. We'll see what I use and what I don't use as we continue on with the project. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is drill a hole, since the whole point is using this shadow box as one big see-through piggy bank. And I've decided my hole is going to go up here. Um, if you look at the shadow box, it's got like three compartments, but I'm thinking the money should go on this top area. And then I'll end up putting it on a stand like this and sitting it on our counter. And then as we walk by with our change and other savings, we can just pop it in there. Okay, so I've got my drill ready. I'm going to start with just this little bit just to get the hole started and then I think I'm going to use this one inch bit to drill the hole so that you could fold up a dollar, fold up ten, twenty dollars, whatever it is you're saving for and um, 
and pop it in the hole. I think one inch will fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, that thing was secure. Okay, I'm gonna pop this out. Okay, that's a nice backing. It's, it's pretty thick so that you could stick those little sewing pins in. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. And I'm just gonna take a look at what we got going on here. It looks like this actually comes out. Ooh, fancy. And to my surprise, the glass does come out. Oh, that makes this so much safer, you have no idea. Because the drill might vibrate the glass so much that it cracks. So if you're looking at a, um, uh, what is it called, a shadow box for this project, Try to find one where the glass is removable. seriously hard <laughs> I just um, just drilled the hole through it and um, I had a really hard time I actually called my little brother and because um, my little brother likes to do woodworking and asked if I had purchased the wrong bit although I've had this bit for a long time I just assumed this bit would work in order to get this hole accomplished um, and he said it should totally work but he suggested something else which I'll throw a, a picture of it um, in the video so that you can see what he suggested. Um, but maybe your, <laughs> your project won't be as hard because you probably have more arm strength because I was having a really hard time getting the drill through it. So now I need to get the drill through the outer part, which I've already started here. And I'm going to finish that up and then we'll start on, uh, the less manual labor work. <laughs> okay. Oh man, okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, that was, that was tough. That was really tough. Um, this is not Martha Stewart's channel. If you wanna see perfection in crafting, I am not the channel to watch. I run into snags, but I have accomplished it and I accomplished it with the bit that I already had. But you can see, um, I've got some, like some rough edges. Let's see if you can see the inside. See the rough edges? So I went in my box of woodworking things and I pulled out some uh, sandpaper. I can't think, I'm tired from like drilling. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of the sandpaper and I'm going to clean up my box a little bit. And then after I do that, I'm going to take a wet washcloth to my box and clean up my mess. You can probably see here I've got some uh, sawdust going on. And you really just want this area clean so that when you stick your money in, you're not like getting splinters. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so I've got it all cleaned up and I've wiped it down and now, and I've got a semi-clean area. Let's see. This is just, I had this handy. It's my method bathroom cleaner. It's like one of my favorite household cleaners when I'm not making my own cleaner. But it seemed to have worked wonders for all this leftover sawdust. I'm going to trace 
where I want these to go. You'll notice I'm not doing it on this side because the paper actually ends on the edge of that box. Okay, so now that I've got my guide, like so, I'm going to put this paper on a mat and cut these out. always cut on the outside of the line that way if your hand slips you just cut the negative space instead of cutting inside of your graphic hold on tight to your metal ruler metal rulers are always best to use when cutting with an exacto knife because if you use a plastic one you might actually cut into your plastic ruler I need a background for here and I'm thinking about just using a solid color something that'll make the green money pop that's going to be placed in it I'm thinking black. So using my big adhesive back glitter stack, I'm going to see if there's any black in here. Yeah, there's some black. Let's see. Ah, where's my exacto? There we go. Hasn't even been opened yet. Okay. Got pink and blue. And green, ooh, I might use the green one for money or the black. Which one? Ah, uh, I'm gonna go green. I think you guys said green. Everything is fitting perfect. Okay, now let's open up our Mickey chipboard or in your case, any theme that you've got going on and start to embellish. And I'm gonna say, once we put our minds on it, we accomplish it. Disney World 2013, which is our goal. And then I'm going to take this Disney and using some tacky glue, I'm gonna glue this to my little journaling page. Now that all of the embellishments are inside and you've made sure to line up the hole so that you could place your money in, it's time to embellish the outside. So I'm just going to continue on just like I did on the inside, choosing where I want things and gluing them down. I'm also going to use this chip box kit of alphabet pieces to spell out our goal of Disney World in 2013.
Okay, so I am all done embellishing the outer part of the shadow frame. It says Disney World 2013, and then it's got all the Mickey friends, and it's got um, some of the Mickey friend names on it, and all that fun stuff. So the only thing left to do is to pop in our first dollar for savings. Now, if you are saving a great deal of money and you know you don't feel comfortable throwing whole $50 increments, $100 bills in here in your little piggy bank, then what I suggest doing is taking some little labels here, putting the amount of money that you just popped into your savings. So say I was just able to save $50 for our vacation, I would write $50 on this little card and then roll it up and pop it into the top part. So I'm going to go ahead and roll up my first dollar and pop it into the hole like so. And there it is. Our very first dollar into our Disney World 2013 big vacation. So I hope this has inspired you guys to create your own shadow box piggy bank for your next big vacation or your next big purchase or whatever it is that you need motivation for. I hope that this has helped you and given you a little bit of insight in how to accomplish it. So hope you guys are having a great one. Bye.